Welcome to SkillHeader.com with Effective Modern Learning Techniques, presenting Level 3 of the Master Microsoft Access Database Programming Series. If you have not completed the first and second level, please click the I button above or find the links in the description. Please visit SkillHeader.com for all source codes and blog. In this video, we are going to learn the effective methods to use and how to work with the queries and make auto calculations based on the table. Let's get started. Let's create a new database and table with some fields related to customers. You are already familiar with the method calculated in the table to calculate the fields within the same table. The previous customer balance and current balance have been added through Expression Builder. For time saving, I have entered some demo data in the table. Let's explore a method to filter out customers who have zero balance with two different methods. In the first method, create a query in design. All fields included in the query and criteria defined with greater than zero. The second method is simple to add just an asterisk means all fields should be added. Add the target field, assign the criteria, and disable it, because it has already been added. Good, the same result appeared with filtering zero balance records. Next, let's explore how to deal with the overbalance limit. I am adding four fields here. Okay, I have to save the query first to update the fields in the expression builder. Now, to show the records of those customers whose balance limit is over, user criteria.
the same is the case, showing the customers whose payment date has been over. We have successfully created two queries related to both criteria. Now we can use these queries for access forms and reports which we will explore in upcoming levels. Move on to create a new table related to the amount received from the customers. Customer name as a drop-down selection is possible through Lookup Wizard, based on the customer table and ID fields will automatically integrate with our current table. Selecting ID, name, and company fields. To avoid the possibility of wrong customer name selection, the company name is also selected here. Save the table with a name like receivable. We forgot to create a primary key so click yes to create it. As you can see, we have a list of all customers along with their company. Let's receive some amount from the customers. The date column was missed, so add it. How to add the total received amount to the relevant customers? It is possible by joining both tables. Four fields have been added from the customer table and dsum function through expression builder based on the receivable table. Criteria in dsum will work where both IDs are matched. Fine, let's receive some more amount and see if it updates. It's working fine. 
Next, create a new sales table and like we have done before, update the customer name based on the customer table. Let's enter some data related to sales. Add sales in the same query of customers where we have received the amount and now the sales amount will be added. Oops, we have got errors here, let's find out the reason. The function expression is fine with no issues. Next, let's verify the table field names because these are our references. Got it, the table field name should be as SNET. Now, everything should work. Greatly done. Move on to apply some advancement to our database. While receiving the amount, the user has no visibility of the customer's remaining balance. Use the function dlookup which will look up the balance amount from the customer table for each relevant customer based on the IDs. We have the balances here. We have to use the format function to convert the amount into the standard format. As you can see the complete picture of the amount received query where we have the current balance and remaining balance after the amount. Moving on to see the relationships that we have made amongst tables and queries so far. Next, let's see how to create SQL queries with MS Access. We can apply the same SQL statement more simply as in SQL we apply. That, select asterisk means all records from table customers where IDs will be matched.
Hope, you have learned a lot from this video as we have put lots of effort into making these videos. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so, you can be notified for new videos. Like and share the video for our motivation. See you in the next video.